hello it's Sarah and I went shopping for some planner supplies today just some decorative um, washi tape I was mainly looking for and some stickers some cheap stickers because I don't have a lot of stickers and I wanted flat ones so I checked the dollar store that my dollar store doesn't have washi I know some of you guys get um, washi at the dollar store uh, I didn't get so lucky but um I did find this at AC Moore and I was thrilled with these because it was three three different size washi tapes for two fifty. These were two for five this week. And it comes in this cute little box, paper tape, and this one has strawberries and cherries, a gingham, and a polka dot in pinks and reds. Um, this one was really sweet with these like it's a floral pattern, another gingham and another pink pattern there but I I don't have any of this size washi and that's kind of what I was looking for because I was going to do a certain project that I'll show you in a minute I got the greens I got the purple I got all the color I'm pretty sure this is all the colors they had and I like the blue the blue was cool because I do love blue evidently I have a lot of teals anyway because this is all the washi I had plus my Tim Holtz which is not I have one Tim Holtz in here two Tim Holtz so these are all the washies that I had. So not very many. This is just a little bin that um, is from the Dollar Tree. So I used this previously for my old planner, for my um, my little Safiano. My um, you know that name anyway. But so I was decorating. I didn't really use it much, and so I decided to look on YouTube for. Oh, I got these too. I I wanted the little owls. I like the owls. And this one was just a pretty, I love all the colors on this. This is just, you couldn't go wrong. But these are a little bit more expensive. I think these were, no, not necessarily $2.99. Michaels has expensive washi tape. So I was happy with the AC Moore, um, that finding that at AC Moore. But I've been watching uh, videos just on what to do. It's, I think it's DIY videos on what to do with washi. And I didn't do it, but... I found these in the, are you going to work, Bub? Yeah, okay, honey, have a good night. I found these in my basement, my, um, and I didn't even think to do these, but you could make total, you guys know this, just like these, little flags on toothpicks. I used some glitter tape, and then this is just a nice, I actually put the tape on the toothpick, too, on this one, but it depends what you're sticking it into because you probably wouldn't want to stick that all on a cupcake. But these can go in cupcakes or anything, really. Um, and then you do the same thing with the, with a um, paper clip. You just make a little flag, and you can clip it on your, um, your anything, on anything, really. And I'll show you what um, I made this one, very simply, just with washi, nothing else. And all you do is just fold it over on itself, fold it over on itself, leaving a little bit of the sticky part um, showing, and then make a little flag. So I just made that because I wanted to show you guys this. This is a basically a sticker that I made, um, and I don't have any parchment paper. I used this um, palette paper just because I had... I I guess I could have used wax paper. I didn't even look. I just grabbed this because it was nearby. It's a paper palette, and it definitely has that waxy fin. It has a paper side and a waxy side, so it actually worked out really well. I think that's what um, the, uh, um, not wax paper, but the other one is like, because I could draw a heart on here. So you just draw a heart. You could draw any shape. I mean, I'm thinking of writing love in bubble letters and seeing if I could cut that out. I'm sure you could... Um, so anyway, and then you cover this, I could show you, I'm going to do, um, you know what I'm going to do though, but you just would cover this with washi tape, so just make sure you're overlapping, not on this side actually, on the um, shiny side, make sure you're on the shiny side, and cover it with washi, and then just turn it over and cut around your pattern, and like I said, it could be any pattern, so I did, did that with this heart, just because it kind of, it's not until, this is the end of January, um, I'll show you a few other things. So in the notes section, my brother had a car accident today. So I was, I wanted to just jot that down. And I just decorated it with um, some washi and a little car. <laughs> a little car sticker because it was a car accident. Oh well. 
Um, so then I have, let's see, so I just went back to the previous month that I didn't get to use just to play and see what it would look like. So I just pulled some colors from the page. That's one way to go. I mean, you could, there are people that put pattern paper all over everything they don't need. Like they cover it. And I just think the washi is a very, if you have it in your stash already, why not use it, you know? So that's what I did for January. Did I do it? I didn't do anything to February. March, I had, um, I pulled off, I had only one color of green, but I put the other two colors that I had. Um, April, I had already done, and I love, this is just with washi that I had in my stash, and um, the music notes, I just put some music notes. May, I had already done too, um, with the ladybugs, and I love the ladybugs. June, I did, that's what I kind of wanted, I went and got these stickers, this little um, owl sticker, but it really kind of just matches the colors on the page. That's really all I'm doing. July, I put a little bit of the fruit because it was red, the strawberries and the cherries. And then I'll see what else I want to do. I didn't want to do them all ahead of time, you know, because then it gives me, oh, I did do September. I guess I found some Tinkerbell stamps last night and just kind of blinged out this page. October, I definitely want to get, I have actually a stamp set of like um, autumn things with, not a stamp set, stickers, stickers. November, you could do Thanksgiving. December, I'm going to do Christmas. And then I showed you the notes already. So, oh, oops. And so, um, also, I just got this. I'll show you. Oh, it's my husband. Um, sorry. He has a meeting. He's going to be a little late. But um, what was I looking for? My April. So Kirby's getting groomed. Look, I found these little dog paws. I mean, you can't tell, but I, I can tell. And it was, I don't know. I liked it. So I put that on there. Um, so let me show you something else I got for my planner is these Stadler, Stadler pens. These are a 0.3 millimeter, and I love how they write. Um, it comes in this case that's super cool too, and it like folds down, and you can use it like a stand like that. And they're really fine points, and this they had several different packs with different colors, but look, look how... I love them. They write so nice, but they also write in your um, planner and they don't bleed through. So that's another um, pen that you could get, the Stadler pens. And they come in bigger packs. Like, I think this was 12 bucks at Target, so that's kind of a lot. But let me show you what else I did with the washi. So this is an idea I got. These are little coasters that are coming in the Red Rose Tea. I collected the little Wade figurines that were in the Red Rose Tea for years. And now for some reason they went to this. Um, I guess it is important to support wildlife and stuff. So, But what I thought was, and there was one sitting on my desk. I use it on my desk for my drinks. But look what I did. Because this is purple, I thought, and I can pull this off anytime, but I just covered it. Oops, with some purple washi, the pack of purple that I just got, and voila, now I have a coaster that matches my desk, my, my desk mat, and I'm going to do another one in, the, in these blacks, because this is Maya's, Maya sits in the um, other room, and you know, I'm going to just do that with this one. Um, I did, these are little tea lights, so I did like, this was a, these are all ideas that I saw on, um, other people's sites but the size the middle size of this washi fits these tea lights perfectly and then I just happened to have a votive as well because I was going to cover this with clay so I just thought I'd play and see what it was like and so I mean obviously you could do but it's just easy right so you could just put this out on a little um, a little plate and have a little bit of candle light, you know, even out on the deck or anything. Look how cute. I mean, you get them at the dollar store, like an eight pack of these little votives. I think it's even more than that. It might be a 12 pack. I forget. It's a 16 pack of these votives. I mean, you could have these all over a party, you know, and just totally make them cute. Um, I got this at the dollar store too. I'm going to try to 
go down a little bit, sorry. Um, this is obviously, it's a little mason jar. I have my Inktense pencils in it, oops. But it was a dollar and I mean, I couldn't resist it because it's just super cute. I have these other like colored mason jars that I am keeping. Um, well, I have my Pigma, my Pigma pens in there. These were stickers that I got. I'm not loving the stickers on there, but I did try them. But again, they'll peel right off too. Um, but I took my um, ink tents out of that one. And look at this. This is all washy. Um, and if, if you don't like it, you can take it right off. But this was um, this set. I used this set. And then I threw a green in there just because there was some green and I needed a little bit of room in between. And then I used the gold to kind of, I put a little on the handle. But I mean, I think it's super cute for if you have washi in your stash already, you go to the dollar store, boom, you have a, you know, a little place to put your pencil or whatever. Um, what else did I do? I think that's it. Um, I think I was just going to, oh, these, I was going to show these. These are a dollar at, um, these were at Michael's. These were at Michael's and they were a dollar. Um, so I, like I said, I don't have stickers and for a dollar, look at all these stickers that you get. Super cute. I love these like for summer. I'll definitely do a page with like summer, going to the beach. I can put that on my beach days. Then I always love critters, butterflies and flowers. So you can't go wrong with that. And this says glitter critters, but they're not glittery. They're not glittery. None of them have glitter. But I love critters, so I got them. Um, and there's, I'm hoping they'll have holiday ones that come out, you know, around the holidays because that'll be perfect to decorate like your holiday days in the planner. Then this is just my doodle book. Uh, oh, Maya did that page. <laughs> and so, you know, I just thought you could even decorate the front of this like with a you know a big old heart or hearts or whatever and make your own big sticker like a big sticker I even have these this is from the uh, dollar spot at Target um, it's just plain white I got white because my desk is white and I didn't want to make it too much I did get this one to match the, the little one that I got with my pocket letter. I think it was Barb. I don't remember. I got like 12 of those, you guys. So it was a it was a flurry of pocket letters, a lot of pocket letters. But these are awesome. These are from Target. And I have my printables in here, um, stuff like that, my bottle cap uh, printables and all that. So, um, and I just keep them up here. I had them in um, regular file folders, but I thought for a dollar, this is holds a little more and it keeps them, I don't know, but you could put a nice, see this is actually what I cut this out for. I was going to, I think I am going to do that. I could just do it real quick on camera. Did you come back, Matt? Oh, sounded like you came back. So this is the side that, oh yeah, he is here. I am going to, you know what, I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to do this, if, uh, here, this one, and just show you what I did. Yeah, so you can see. And actually, it might be better on this side because the whole thing is the same color. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to start with, you just got the overlap, and then I'm going to go to this one. Our furniture in the other room, in the back room, is black. Well, it's like, yeah, it's black. You have to make sure you overlap the washi. Well, on the sticker you do. On this you don't. You don't have to overlap with this one. But on the sticker you definitely do because uh, when you peel it off, you want it to all stay together in one uh, piece. So, and this is probably going to stick to my mat, which I'm... I did it the last time. I was thinking of this time uh, folding it over to the back instead of, and you want to burnish this down to um, make sure, because some washi isn't as sticky as others. Some is nice and sticky and like gives you a good, nice result, but some of it wants to come up on me, I'm noticing. So, and I'm just alternating. Uh, 
tapes and ripping with my fingers. A lot of people like to um, cut with scissors, but that's another good thing about washi. You can just rip it. You don't have to use scissors. Um, put that right in the middle. So now I know what to do with my washi. Look at this. I mean, I am make, custom making a little coaster. I might as well put a little piece on the end here. All right, so how am I gonna pick this up? I'm gonna burnish it down a little bit. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. The only place you can kind of see through it, so you can see through this one. There's a white spot there, a white spot there, which I mean, who cares? It's for my craft room, it's fine. Um, but I'm gonna try and pick this up. Oh, I got it. And I think I'm gonna just flip it and do it this way this time instead of cutting it. I just cut around it, but I mean, I'm gonna try it this way and see what, you know, which I like better. Like that little corner I didn't do right. I think you just fold the corners over. And it might make it a little bit wonky. Well, for a cup, yeah. If you have, see like that, I'll probably cut off. Probably cut some of it off, but look. So I have, this will be sitting on the, um, let me see if I can, once it sticks to itself sometimes, okay. I think I'll try and do that. Some of it's not sticking, but it was a free coaster. I mean, come on. So that's super cute, right? And now it like it just matches my furniture a little more and it's cute instead of just being a, you know, a piece of cardboard on the table that looks like that, you know. Actually, that will look better <laughs> than the front. Like that with a giraffe. Which a giraffe? I love giraffes. But anywho, so that's what you can do with washi. Um, listen, I didn't think of any of this stuff, you guys. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. Look what else they do. They put I put it on my um my charger. I just put a little bit on this end too. Um somebody did her I'm gonna put clay on this, but you can just do, if you have a plain light switch cover for girls, you girls, wash it up, put it back up there. Looks super cute, right? Um, all right, I think that's everything. I'll go see what this looks like, but thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.